Hi there, my name's Jackie and welcome to your yoga class. Today we've got a really lovely story to talk about, the colour monster, because today we're talking about all our feelings and how we can maybe help those feelings by doing a little bit of yoga. But let's start how we normally start. We need to sit down and do our song, don't we? So come down onto your knees. That's it. And if you don't know the words, all you need to do is pat your knees. That's it. And just listen to the song. But if you know the words, please sing along. One, two, three. Say hello and namaste. Time for fun and yoga play. Am I ready? Yes, I am. Sitting on my mat. Well done, I could hear you singing from here. Then, every time we do yoga, our special little yoga friend comes out. Mm -hmm. Now, you might have met him before. His name is Om. That's right, an O oh and a M. And his favourite thing in the whole world is to watch us do yoga. So after three, we're going to shout on him. But we're not just going to say Om, um, we're going to make it nice and long, okay? Like Om. Um. Okay, so one, two, three. Um, that's it, well done. So let's see, this is where he lives in his sparkly, sparkly sleeping bag. Let's see how, if he's awake to come and watch us do a little bit of yoga. What do you think? <gasps> here he is, here. He's a black doggy, isn't he? And he just loves watching the yoga. Now, Om is a little black dog and he feels happy a lot of the time, but sometimes you have different feelings, don't you, Om? Yes, he does. So he's going to sit and watch us all do our best, best yoga today, okay? He's got his very own yoga mat as well, just back here. There we go. Now, one more thing to do, and that's, we have to say the magic yoga word. We have to say that every single time as well. So we sit this time with our legs crossed in a basket and we put our hands in our heart and then we say namaste, okay? So after three, one, two, three, namaste. Awesome. So we are going to find out all about our feelings today and we're going to use our brilliant story, The Colour Monster, to do that with us, okay? You don't need to have read the book or anything like that. So we're going to warm our bodies up a little bit first of all, okay? Now the first thing that we're going to do is some flower breathing. Have you ever been breathing like a flower in your life before? Maybe not. But this is really nice to help you get ready for a yoga class. So what I need you to do is put the heels of your hands together like this and your fingers are your petals and just put them underneath your chin like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a big sniff in. That's it, smell those flowers and ah out again and fill your bellies up when you do that okay so take a big sniff in fill those bellies up smell the flower and ah doesn't that smell lovely wonderful let's do one more so big breath in and lovely and just put your hands back on your knees so that already gets you a little bit ready for yoga and you can always use flower breath if you're maybe feeling a little bit angry or nervous or something like that. So, talking about how we're feeling, what does it feel like when we have different emotions and feelings? What does it feel like when we are angry? Does it feel like we're all tight inside, maybe? You can use your fist to show what anger looks like. And maybe sometimes you feel maybe a wee bit nervous. And what does that feel like? It feels maybe sometimes like butterflies in your tummy. So everything that we feel, sometimes we can feel it in our bodies as well. So why don't we get started moving and warming our bodies up? Okay, so we're gonna stand up and sing a song about feelings. Of course we are. We're going to sing if we're happy and you know it. Now, don't worry if you don't know it, just try and follow the actions. But if you do know it, please sing along. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's it. Now, what about 
If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're angry and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're tired and you know it, do a big yawn. Oh, that's it. If you're tired and you know it, do a big yawn. Oh, if you're tired and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're tired and you know it, do a big yawn. Oh, wonderful. So, we know that we can show how we're feeling and we know that we can feel it inside as well. But we're going to do our lovely story now with our little friend, the colour monster. That's right. So, let's sit down on our bottoms with our legs crossed, okay? So the colour monster isn't having a good day, is he? No, he's feeling a little bit mixed up and very, very confused. He's not quite sure how he's feeling today. No, so we're gonna do a bit of a mixed up and confused pose. So we sit with our legs crossed, okay? And then you're gonna take one hand on one side and cross over and put it in the other knee. And then what you're gonna do is take a big deep breath in and turn and face the back. So you're doing a bit of a twist. That's it, twisting round. And then you're gonna do it on the other side. So come round and do the other arm. That's it. So we don't quite know what we're feeling. Come round to the front and do it again. So try and look behind you. Colour monster doesn't know what's going on and he's not quite sure what to do. Hmm, I wonder why that is. I think that's because he's feeling all mixed up and he's feeling all jumbled up. So let's do jumbled up arms pose. So sit, keep sitting on your bottom. Now see if you can do this. You're gonna put your arms out to the side. You're gonna cross one under the other. So your arms are making a cross position. And then put your hands up. Can you do that? So your hands are out to the side. Cross them over just at your elbows and bend your elbows. That's it. And so your arms are all tangled up. A little bit like colour monsters feelings that's right and the feelings are just like colours aren't they and when your feelings are all mixed up it's like all these colours are mixed up in a jar let's do a jar pose so let's stand up very tall with your big toes touching and raise your hands up that's it like a big tall jar that's it reach right up to the ceiling and our jar is sitting on a table today, it is. So we have to sit down and do table pose. We sit in our bottoms, put our hands behind us, and we push our bottoms right up in the air. Can you do that? Into table pose. So we're gonna have a wee look at all these colors and find out what all our colors mean. So in our first jar, we are going to put the color Yellow, just what I'm wearing today. Now, what do you think yellow might mean? Yellow might make you feel happy. That's it, give us a big smile. Yeah, a big gotcha smile, that's it. Lovely. And when you're feeling happy, you feel it inside as well, don't you? You feel like a big twinkly star. Let's stand up and we put our legs apart and your toes are pointing forward and put your hands out, stretch them right out to the side like a star, really stretch. And then if you're feeling a little bit fancy, you can twinkle your fingers like a star too. That's it, so twinkle your fingers, that's it. And happiness can make you feel like you want to jump up in the air, doesn't it? It's such a nice feeling. So let's put our feet together crouch down and then after three we're going to jump up and spread our arms and legs out like this jump okay so come down that's it one two three jump that's it doesn't that feel lovely let's do one more because that's great fun calm down one two three jump wonderful and it can sometimes make you feel like dancing shall we have a little dance I think we should. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Wonderful! Brilliant. Now, doesn't that make you feel happy? 
dancing about. You might even be having a wee bit of a giggle and a laugh, which is wonderful. So I think we know what yellow feels like, don't we? Now, our next one that we've got to do at Colour Monster is trying to find out what it feels like is blue. That's right. What do you think blue means? Have a look at this face. It means you're sad. Let's see your sad faces. That's it. So when blue, when we take blue out our big mix jar and put it in its very own jar, what do you think blue looks and feels like? Well, it can feel a little bit like a rainy day, can't it? So come up on your knees, get those little rainy fingers and pitter-patter on your head. A wee bit like rainy, that's it. And remember, it's okay to feel sad sometimes. That's right, we all feel sad sometimes, don't we? And the best thing to do is talk to someone about it and try and figure out why you're feeling sad. And what can also help is a big cuddle. So let's sit down, that's it. Legs crossed, arms out in front of you, and you're gonna wrap them round, really wrap them round tight and give yourself a nice big cuddle. Oh, that's it. And we can cuddle another way. We can bring our knees up and we can cuddle our knees in as well. That makes us feel nice and secure as well, doesn't it? So next we have in Colour Monsters jar, the colour red. That's right. What do you think red means? Red means anger. That's right. And remember, it's perfectly normal to feel angry sometimes too, but it's also good if we maybe know how to help that feeling. But how do we feel when we're angry? Well, we sometimes feel like stomping, don't we? So let's stand up, use your arms for this one too, and we're gonna stomp. That's it, big high knees, stomp, stomp, stomp. I bet we've all stomped at some point, haven't we? We all feel like stomping sometimes. That's it, and we feel like just maybe giving a bit of a ah sometimes don't we so let's come down this is a really good one come down on your knees and after three we're going to do a big roar but you've got to do certain things with it okay that's the deal so we say one two three then we come up on our knees we put our hands up really really wide and we go ah and you've got to stick your tongue out can you do that so let's try it. One, two, three. Ah! That's it. We, we certainly feel like that sometimes, don't we? Definitely. So our next colour to come out of Colour Monster Jar is black. What could black possibly mean? Black can mean fear, which means being a bit scared, doesn't it? Yeah, uh -huh. now what do you feel like when you're scared? You feel sometimes like hiding away, don't you? So let's come into our scared pose, okay? Come onto your knees, pop your bottom down onto your heels, then come all the way down, put your head on your mat and your hands next to your feet, like this, that's it. And put the tops of your hands in, on the floor and just curl up in a little ball. You can close your eyes. That's it, and listen to your breathing. Just for a few seconds. Doesn't that feel nice and a bit secure, as if it's gonna protect you a little bit? That's right. Because again, remember, we all feel a little bit of fear and a wee bit scared, but here's a good way to help. If you feel scared, we're gonna do some finger breathing, and this is really, really good if you're feeling a little bit unsure and scared, okay? So all you need is a hand, okay, and five fingers. And you're gonna pretend each of these fingers is a mountain, that's right. And you've got your little mountaineer finger here, and you're going to breathe in, remember, so that means breathing all your air in and making your tummy bigger and breathe out and make your tummy smaller again. So starting at the bottom of your mountain at your thumb, we go breathing into the top of that mountain and breathing down that mountain. Then breathing up the next mountain, breathe in and breathe down that mountain. That's it. So keep going, breathing up to the top of the mountain and down 
until you get all the way to the end. And once you've got to the end, you've taken five big deep breaths and don't you feel a little bit better? So you can keep that one in your head for when you really, really need it. So our next color to come out of Color Monsters jar is green. Green means lovely and calm and tranquil and isn't that a lovely feeling? And wouldn't it be good if we could make ourselves feel calm sometimes? So let's do a lovely calm yogi pose. So that means you sit with your legs crossed again and then you get that pointer finger in your thumb and put them in a circle and put the rest of your fingers together. Can you shut, so can you have your fingers like that? Then you put the backs of your hands on your knees. That's it. And then we're gonna take a couple of deep breaths together. Now you can close your eyes as well. So you're gonna take a big deep breath in. That's it, nice straight back and out. And another big deep breath in. And out, that's it. And take another big deep breath in. And out. Well done. And this can make you feel very, very calm indeed. Calm can also make you think of really nice, relaxing things like, what about a tree swaying in the breeze, nice and gently, minding its own business? Let's do a tree pose. So we stand up, nice and tall, and then we take one heel. Now remember, that's your heel there, and you put it across the other foot, just like that, okay? And then we take our branches and put them in the middle, don't we? And you can stay like that, or you can grow your tree right out. That's it. And then come back down into the middle and take your foot away and try it on the other side. Put your foot over your other one, your heel on top of your foot and put your branches in the middle and grow into a lovely, still, calm, strong, beautiful tree. That's it. So, we've done quite a lot of colours. Colour Monster has a lot of colours inside his body, doesn't he? And so we've taken all those colours and we've taken them all mixed up and now they're all in their own separate jars. And so we know what each of them means now and what they feel like, which is more important, isn't it? So, well, wait a minute, we've forgotten one little colour, haven't we? Mm, there's a wee colour lurking at the bottom there and that's pink. What do you think? Pink means, ah, uh, pink means love, that's right. So we do a couple of things for pink pose, pink feelings. We first of all do a little finger yoga pose, which means that you curve your fingers together and you make a heart with your hand, can you do that? So make a heart shape with your fingers and you can look through it if you want as well. And a way to share love with people in yoga is by sitting with those legs crossed again. And it's by saying our magic code word, that's right. We sit and the code word means love as well. So if you want to give some love to someone, you can sit and say namaste to them, okay? So there you go, you can say that to all the people that live in your house and all your school friends and things like that as well. So we've learned today that feelings can feel really nice, can't they? But they can sometimes feel a little bit strange and we don't really know what to do with them. But hopefully with some breathing and some yoga, you can maybe help those feelings sometimes as well. So what we're going to do now is have a lovely relaxing time. All you need to do is lie down and get yourself comfortable. And we're going to do a rainbow meditation and it's all about feelings, that's right. And all you need to do is lie down and get comfy and I'll do all the talking. So lie down on your mats, that's it, with the tops of your hands on the floor and your eyes shut, that's it. And just try and feel very still for a second or two. So feel your body nice, and heavy on your mat, that's right. And you're going to have a wee look inside your mind because there's lots of pictures in your mind, isn't there? But this time we're going to think of a rainbow. So can you picture a rainbow while you're lying there? 
and it's just after a big storm. It's been stormy and rainy, but now a big, beautiful rainbow has appeared and a rainbow has got lots of colours, isn't it? So while we're breathing, we're going to think about breathing over the arch of the rainbow in, out, back over the arch of the rainbow. So you're breathing from one side to the other just while you're listening to me and we're going to take a little look at all the colours. Our red colour on our rainbow means we are strong. We're strong in our minds and we're strong in our body as well. Orange means that we are full of joy. We have so much joy to give and we have so much joy inside us as well. Yellow means that we are nice, confident individuals and we are um, able to stand up for ourselves if we need to as well. That's right, nobody can take that away from us. Green is because we're lovely, caring people as well and we think of others all the time, every day. That's it. Blue is about being truthful, truthful to yourself and truthful with everybody else. And it's always best to tell the truth, isn't it? No matter, no matter what you're doing. Indigo is about how clever and smart we all are. Every single person is clever and smart, aren't they? In very, very different ways sometimes, but we are all super clever and super smart okay and we just need to try our best all the time and violet the very last color means that we understand it means we try to understand how others are feeling and we try to help them as well that's all been part of understanding as well so all our colors in the rainbow mean something different and our rainbow helps us to breathe as well but what we're going to do now is just wriggle our fingers and wriggle our toes and very, very slowly come back up to sitting, okay? So you come back up to sitting with your bottom on your mat and your hands in your prayer position, just at your heart like this. And we're going to say our magic code word again, okay? Which is Namaste. Are you ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me and also Om. He's really enjoyed your feelings yoga class today as well. Thank you for exploring all our feelings and sorting them out with the colour monster as well. So I hope you get to use some of your yoga poses, maybe when you're feeling a wee bit, well, happy sometimes, or sometimes when you maybe need a little bit of help at all, okay? But until then, Om and I will go away and we will think up more awesome yoga stories for you and we'll see you next time. See you later.